Imagine the surprise of Tom Croon when he purchased a disused fire station, intending to convert it into a unique residential dwelling, only to be sued by the city of Seattle. After investing thousands in remodeling, the city claimed the property was still a fire station. Fire Station 38, a blend of architectural styles designed by architect George Stewart, carries a unique air of elegance. Its simple, straightforward design is a testament to Seattle's history, earning it a nomination for landmark status. Fire Station 38 isn't just a building, it's a symbol of Seattle's growth. As the first station in the northeast section of Seattle, it provided safety and security to the growing communities of Ravenna and Laurelhurst. Transformed into a daytime home, the firehouse became a hub of activity for the Kroon family. It was a place for work, play, and family gatherings, filled with art and decor created by family members. But in 2016, the city of Seattle issued a land use notice violation to Kroon, claiming the property was still a fire station. Despite advertising the property for residential use, the city was now suing Kroon for using the fire station as anything but a fire station. The city's actions were a shock, considering they had represented the property as a residential dwelling when it was sold to Kroon. The city now ordered Kroon to discontinue all unauthorized uses of the property. Facing penalties of $500 a day, Kroon fought back. Hiring attorney Clayton Graham, a specialist in land use and zoning, Kroon claimed that the city had misrepresented the property in its listing. The issue? The city had hired a third-party agent to sell the station, who listed the house as a residential structure. A simple mistake, perhaps, but one that left Kroon in a difficult position. The city may have employed the third-party real estate agent, but they still had supervisory control. They were responsible for the misrepresentation. The focus now turned to correcting the errors and resolving the zoning issue. After a countersuit, the city of Seattle dropped its lawsuit against Kroon. However, the legal battle had cost Kroon between $50,000 and $80,000. Now he seeks reimbursement for the costs incurred due to the city's error. Beyond the financial cost, Kroon claims his constitutional rights were violated. He alleges that the city-hired investigator entered his property illegally to determine the building's use. If the city is enforcing their code by trespassing on private property without consent or a warrant, that's a major problem. Today, Kroon has a certificate of occupancy confirming the old firehouse is zoned for residential use. But the question remains, should this costly lawsuit have happened in the first place? If you liked this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so we can provide you all the latest viral content.